Dr. Chuck, what triggered your interest in the oral systemic connection? I've had, that's a great question. I've had that interest most of my career. In fact, when I was in dental school, we asked some of the dental school instructors, what about the infections in the mouth? Aren't they gonna get in the rest of the body? We were told at that time, oh, I know there's an oral barrier that keeps them out. Just like there's a blood brain barrier, there's a placental barrier. Well, they're finding oral bacteria in the brains of Alzheimer's patients now. So there's much, not much of a blood brain barrier. There are dead babies born every year full of oral bacteria. So there wasn't much of a placental barrier and there is no oral barrier. When you get an infection in your mouth, it goes right into your bloodstream. But uh, that's not what we were taught. We were taught that there was, a, there was a barrier. So we believed that for a long time. I went to a meeting back in 2012 and it was called from the American Academy of Oral Systemic Health. And it just laid it all out. No, the infections in your mouth don't stay in your mouth. They get in the rest of your body. And that bacteria does a lot of things. So my interest really peaked back in about 2012, like this makes good sense. It was about uh, 2018, I uh, picked up a bug in an airplane and I was getting worse, 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 worse. Finally, I went to the hospital, something I just don't do. I'm, you know, that's something you got, a lot of guys don't do, but when you're bad enough, you'll go. And so when I went in there, I was feeling really bad. The first doctor looked in my mouth and I said, what are you looking at? And she said, well, I'm looking for redness and swelling. So, well, you're looking right past the biggest polluter of the bloodstream. And she looked at me and said, what? I said, don't worry, we'll get back to that later. Let's deal with this right now. So anyway, I spent four days in the hospital asking every doctor, nurse, and administrator for four days, is there any link between the health of the mouth and the rest of the body? No, 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 news to me. I talked to one cardiologist who said, oh, absolutely, there's a big link. I thought, well, we need more than one doctor in this whole hospital to understand that there's a link between the mouth and the rest of the body. I thought, wouldn't it be great to have a dentist to do oral exams on their patients when they're lying in their beds because everything we need is portable. We could at least rule out the mouth as a source of the infection. And that way, if, if they have some healthy mouth, wonderful. But if they have some dental infections, if they have some tooth abscesses, if they have gum disease, at least we can... Uh, identify it. And then that could, that could be part of the treatment to, to help get them get healthy. So I applied to be on staff. And my first letter of rejection said I wasn't certified by the American Board of Dentistry and only 1% of dentists are. I thought about that and I had to inform them there is no American Board of Dentistry. Every state has a board. So how can, and, oh, and, and by the way, they said in, for the American Board of Dentistry, only 1% of dentists are certified by the American Board of Dentistry. So I pointed out, there is no American Board of Dentistry. How can 1% of dentists be certified by an organization that doesn't exist? Could you explain this to me? They said, oh, we're sorry, you can apply again. So I applied again. Second time, they had me go through a bunch of courses on blood transfusion, insulin regulation. I said, I'm not gonna do that. Well, if you're gonna be on staff, you have to do that. So I did all those things. The, uh, it came down to a final meeting between me and about 12 of the doctors, and they all agreed that the mouth can play a role in your health, but, they didn't want me to come in and diagnose things that they couldn't treat. I said, wait a minute. Every week I diagnose things that I can't treat. I refer to that patient as someone who can treat it. Their answer, we don't want to be in the referral business. That bothers me, okay? Is it about the patient or about where you can make money and where you can't make money? So I decided to, uh, let's inform the patients, let, let the, 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 the public know just how important the oral health is for the rest of the body. When you look at it, 50% of heart attacks come from dental infections. 90% of dental infections have no pain and your doctors don't even ask you about your mouth. So this is what's got my passion going on this. We need to instruct people because so many people are suffering needlessly. And sometimes the answer is literally right under your nose, literally right under your nose. So when you look in the mirror, look under your nose and wonder, is that the source of what's making me sick? Is the bacteria in the mouth getting into my bloodstream or my husband, my wife, my kids, my parents, my friends, any one of them. So that's what's got me going on this. We want to be healthy. We just don't want to treat the symptoms forever. We want people to get well. So that's what's got me uh, passionate about um, the oral system of a connection. Great information. Thank you, Dr. Chuck.